Hey what is up guys and welcome to another video and this video is going to be a tutorial on how to get Android 4.3 on your Galaxy S3. If you haven't already checked out my previous video where I show you the features of Android 4.3 on the S3, please do so by clicking the link on the screen now or in the description down below the like button. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So, before we begin, make sure you have a backup of all your phone including your pictures, contacts, messages, etc. I recommend using an Android backup to backup everything as it's the safest method. Also, make sure your phone is rooted and has Clockwork Mod installed. Lastly, make sure this is indeed the GTI 9300 and not an LTE version as if you use an LTE version, it may break your phone. So what you want to do is to download these two files off the net using the links in the description down below the like button and once you have that done you want to copy those into your SD card like so after they've been copied into your SD card you can unplug your phone from the computer and reboot it to recovery mode I'll show you that next once the files are in your SD card you want to turn off your phone Power off, shut down. You want to completely shut down the phone and then reboot it into recovery mode. You can do that by pressing the volume up button, the power button, and the home button simultaneously. So, 3, 2, 1. And that should boot it to recovery mode. Yeah, there we go. The first thing you want to do is to wipe your data, factory reset the phone and then you want to install zip from SD card. You can select by pressing the home button. You want to go choose zip from SD card and then select cm-10.2 dash a huge number dash nightly dash i9300 dot zip. Select it using the home button scroll down to yes and press the home button go back apply the same procedure but this time for the google apps zip again scroll down to yes and click the home button go back go back again and then if you want to be safe you can wipe data again and then reboot system now the first reboot takes a while, so be patient. The start animation should be that. Anyways, that was a tutorial on how to get Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like rating and comment down below to see more. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it. See ya.